Hi Gemini and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what the tarot here predicts for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general message guys so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So the reading is intended for Gemini Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course for those of you that are cross-watching as well. So let's give the cards a shuffle here and let's see what's coming in for you in terms of love and romance. Now I've just had a few cards fly out here. Okay Gemini, you've got the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. You've also got the Nine of Cups, but that's come out in reverse for you here, Gemmies. Okay, so you've got the seven and the, sorry, the seven and the nine of wands here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you've got the nine of wands, the nine of pentacles, and the nine of cups. The number nine is quite significant here. You've got the eight of wands, wow, and the star card here. Okay, so look at that. The seven, eight, and nine of wands here. Okay, and the number nine has shown up three times here. Now, the number nine and the energy of it, Gemini, is important to know it represents completion here, but not finality. Okay, there's a difference here. Um, think of it more like in a cyclical sense. Um, it's the ending of a cycle and potentially the beginning of a whole new one for you here. Okay, so just when one cycle ends, it creates room for another cycle to begin here. The number nine also ushers in a transformation and a, um, an energy of change here. So this is what I'm picking up for you here, Gemini. It's transformation, change, and I feel like it's it's ushering you here. Okay, there's an, usher, there's an energy that seems to be ushering you towards transformation or a transition of some sort like a new cycle here so do not resist any changes here Gemini I feel like some of you might be it's also like number nine is also associated with the sense of awakening here guys okay um, it's a very tolerant kind of energy very supportive here it can be it can be the weaknesses of number nine can be a little bit too sacrificing, and it can be a little bit resentful at times as well here, which is what I'm also picking up in your energies here. Now with the seven of wands, I get a very strong energy of resistance here. There's something here that's happening for you, Gemini, but it's almost like you're fighting the change. You don't want that very thing to happen. Um, you don't want you know. There are certain things that are changing for you and you might not necessarily perceive these changes as something very positive but everyone must you know you in order to grow you have to you have to go through it right so some of you i feel like fighting changes which are destined for you but you're resisting it for instance some of you i feel like are holding on to a certain person and you don't want this person to leave your life okay you don't want them to take an exit here but this person doesn't feel like they have much room left in your life or they don't feel like they've got anything left to give you. And some of you are like, you're holding on to something which has long, like it has long finished serving a purpose here for you. So whatever it is, okay, whatever it is that you're holding, like that you're resisting here, because this is an energy of resistance here. It's like, you know, you're trying to protect yourself you're trying to protect your territory and what's yours but but do know that anyone who takes an exit from your life or any changes or transformations that are happening around you and especially your romantic life are actually happening for your growth and for your greater good so do not fight these changes accept them walk the path of least resistance here okay walking the path of least resistance will ensure you and will reward you with success okay so do not like whatever it is that you're fighting for you need to stop like whatever it is that you're fighting and resisting here you need to stop doing it gemini because what's on the other side of it is success and will reward you with will reward you for these efforts here so it's like you're holding on to something that you think is good but something better wants to come in for you look at it that way now the nine of pentacles uh not the nine of pentacles the nine of cups here it's come up in reverse so it tells me that things 
aren't as you want them to be, okay? Something here isn't manifesting for you. It's not coming to fruition. Um, you don't have everything you need or you don't have everything you want at this particular point in time. It often does signal like a lack of um, happiness, okay? So unhappiness, a lack of fulfillment here, disappointment, um, unhappiness, okay? Just general um, emotional disappointment, okay? Um, so something here I feel like you're definitely not happy sorry you're definitely not happy here with things that are happening for you here i can see that you're definitely disappointed you feel dissatisfaction whether within yourself or whether with your romantic energy here okay this is a time i feel like to maybe stop I feel like the Nine of Cups is more a time for you to focus on quality rather than quantity. Because some of you, I feel like the reason why you don't have certain things that you want, okay, why you don't have your blessings or why certain things are not manifesting for you is because I feel like um, you're putting, you know, you're putting a lot of wishes out to the universe. But to me, it's like the desire or the, the want. So the fuel behind this wish, some of these wishes are not strong enough. So now is the time for you to take a step back and just and just stop placing like pay, pay attention to the quality of your desires okay to what is it that you want um how much do you want it and is it in your greater good does it align with your with your higher self does it serve a positive purpose for you okay so now's the time for you because that's the true treasure right pay attention to the quality of those wishes and the manifestations here that you're trying to attract here um the nine of cups also tells me that you could be finding that things may look great, okay, you may be in a relationship and on paper, or you may be connected with someone and on paper, things are looking great and everything should work out, so why isn't it working out, perhaps there is something that you're not seeing here, something is missing, okay, Gemini, and although you don't know what it is quite yet, you can feel it, so now's, an, like, once again, now's a really good time for you to take a step back here and just sort of do some reflecting and gather your thoughts and your feelings, because, it can be solved here. Something can be solved maybe with just a simple conversation. Um, some things here can be solved with you, you know, putting in some putting in some thought here. Because I feel like some of you, you may have been so wrapped up. You, you've been so wrapped up with something here, whether it's a, with a relationship that you've neglected certain areas of your life, especially growth here, okay? Um, I do get a sense that there's been a lot of things that are happening for you, or there will be a lot of things that are happening for you, it's especially, you know, we spoke about this transformation and transitions. Now, some of these things that are going to happen... Um, or that are destined for you, do involve you embarking on a path, okay? And for some of you, Geminis, this is a path that you must take alone. For others of you, I do see that there is a romantic energy accompanying you on your path. So basically, whatever is, some of you are trying very hard to manipulate a certain outcome of a certain uh, situation, okay? Surrender yourself to the universe here, surrender to the powers that be, because whatever is destined for you, whatever is orchestrated for you, will will arrive to you, right? Whatever is meant for you will never miss you. So I feel like for some of you, it's important to know, Gemini, that some of you, okay, you're holding on to something good, but what if you let go of that something good and something even better comes into your life? So again, this is all part of that transformation and transitioning. I'm seeing that there are certain energies that are going to have to be cut loose from your life or people that you're going to have to leave behind. That's not to say that you don't have feelings for them or you don't care about them, but it just means that that person isn't going where you're going. They're not embarking with you on your journey. And you have to take on this journey of growth here. Because for a long time, I feel like you've been holding yourself back. Maybe you've been aligning yourself with people who've been dimming your, who've dimmed your uh, brightness, your light here. Um, and maybe some people have sort of, you know, taken that away from you. So now it's time to prioritize your happiness and um Watch very closely the thoughts that you put out there. As I've mentioned, a lot of you people, like a lot of you um, energies, a lot of you Geminis in particular, you know, you're putting out so many wishes out to the world and that's great. You know, you can, um, the catalog of the universe is abundant and limitless. That's great. But that desire behind the wish must be there. So, and focus on the quality of those manifestations rather than the quantity, okay? And make sure that those manifestations serve you um, 
within your greater good here. Okay, guys, these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel. For those of you um, subscribing to the channel, yeah, liking, sharing, commenting if the section is open. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care, guys. Bye for now.